hello what's happening it's your boy dollar graphics thank you so much for coming back if you're out here and if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when i drop a new video so in this video i'm gonna show you on how to create a 3d effect like this without further ado let's get started so all right this is my color draw and the first thing we're going to be doing is to type in the text we want to make a 3d width so i'll just go ahead and type in 3d test effects like this let's hit it over here then close up the space like this and i try to scale it up like this just make sure it is on black there's no color fill on it like this just type in the test you want to make the 3d effect with but i'm just using this 3d test effect for the sake of this tutorial for you you might just go ahead and type in your desire test and make a little adjustment if you want to just the way you want it to come out on the 3d effect so when you are done tapping your test you've done all you want to do or if you're a color draw is that you've done it on your color draw so you now go to this place where you have your file or better still if you don't want to go to that process you can just press ctrl e on your keyboard to export it so when you're exporting it when you are done selecting the place you want to export it to I have the file name on type to one then I have the save as type I have it at PNG portable network graphics so you can just go ahead and make a selection of it if your own is not selected then you, go, you can just go ahead and select export so when you select that export it's going to pop up with this dialog box so you, as you can see this this place where I have my transparency it is ticked if it is not ticked and you exported it of course it's going to bring come up with a background white background so just make sure you are going to make sure that this transparency is ticked so i'll just go ahead and tick okay like this and i have it exported in my core draw over here like this so the next thing we're going to be doing is to make sure you're connected to the internet you can see over here i'm already connected to the internet so i'll open up my browser where i actually the browser that i, I normally use to download whatever i want to download so i'll um, visit the website I mostly make use of that is the www.freepick.com over here www.freepick.com so you come over to this place where you have your free vector store photos and PSD download I just go ahead and take it that way and it's gonna pump up with another okay it's gonna pump up with the sites like this so you come over to this okay it's telling me over here to sign up i'll just go ahead and sign up with my google account so you'll come over to this place where you have your resources this place where you have your resources over here click on the drop down arrow then select free of course everyone wants free stuff so come over to this place where, it's, where it says speed psd that is it's telling us to select the way we want to download the document we want to search for so of course it is obvious that it is a, it is a psd file want to download that is photoshop document we want to download so i'll just go ahead and type in the 3d 3d test okay 3d test mockup over here like this i just go ahead and make a selection of that yeah and i have them like this so as you can see we are having a multiple of them so you can just go ahead and download anyone you felt it is okay for you but for me i'll go with this hyperactive yeah and i'll just click on it once so it's gonna pop up with this box over here like this i'll just go ahead and select this download but for me i will not download because i already have it download on my documents so uh, when you are done downloading it you will just go over to the place you downloaded it to so for me i you can see this is my download and i open up this dd then i have it over here like this so i'll make sure when you are done downloading it, it's gonna come up with in this uh zip file make sure you have a zip software that you can make that will 
that will unzip the document so when you are done zipping it you can just go ahead it will you will see this psd file inside your unzip file so just, you can just go ahead and select this psd then open it up boom and here we have it because okay it's giving me a chance because i already untick the background from this side for you it should be like this because i already make use of it on one of my design so when you are done editing the test you can just go ahead and untick the background and export it so let me just quickly show you before i'll start explaining that one so you come over to when you are done opening opening this psd file it's going to look like this so you come over to your layers over here you see this place where you have your double click to change test i just go ahead and double click it like this boom and have it this way 3d test effect so i'll just go ahead and delete this one drag it to this trash over here like this so we're going to our desktop where i exported the previous one that we did earlier i have it, I have it over here on title one so i'll just drag it and drop in the photoshop over here like this then try to scale it up like this when you're done scaling it up like this then you can take it from this side so you close it again on this same this same layer this same project over here we just go ahead and close it up from this side like this so it's gonna pump up with this option that is that says save changes to the adobe photoshop documents i just go ahead and select yes And then boom there we have it this is a 3d test effect like this is so simple and amazing so let's say you are done making the 3d test effect on photoshop and you want to export it back to core draw you can ju just make sure this editors blah 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 that is written on it the top and the bottom is unchecked so that you don't have to start copying it out in core draw so you come over to this place in your layer where you have your type 2 just make sure it is on tick like that and it's gone then come scroll down to this background and on tick it like this and then boom we have the background out then when you are done on ticking every single thing that you want you make sure you don't want in the 3d test effect then you come over to your file then save as like this and you're going to change this save as tie to just the way we did in Corel Draw to PNG, we are going to do the same thing in Photoshop and save it to PNG over here like this. And make sure you are selecting the place we want to save it to. So I just go ahead and select desktop. That will be more easier for me to pick. I just go ahead and save. And then it is done saving so we'll go I'll go to my desktop where I save it where I saved it I here I have it over here like this I just drag it and over here boom okay here we are in core draw again as you can see the test that we did on core draw now I take it to Photoshop to make a 3d effect so simple and amazing so this is how I was able to achieve this. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when I drop a new video. See you next time. Thank you for watching.